everyone, Megan Moto here today. Today's video is going to be a half helmet versus full helmet video and I'm going to go through the pros and cons of both and why I like either or for different situations and why ultimately I prefer the full helmet. So if you guys prefer a half helmet or a full helmet, let me know in the comments below. I'm curious what your reasons are. So uh, we'll get right into the video. So on my right here, I have a a uh, skid lid half helmet. It's a size medium, DOT approved. Both of these helmets that I'm sitting here with I got from Ride Now and Concord. I will leave a link to them below and I'll also leave a link to the prices for both of these below. From a standpoint of hairstyles, the full helmet will preserve your hairstyle a little bit better, but the half helmet gives me more of a range of hairstyles to wear. This one fits looser, so I wear something underneath it, which actually gives me the availability to do more Dutch braids because Dutch sits on top of the head. French is braided in, so with the hairstyles that fit on top of my head, a half helmet actually fits a little bit better. So one of the reasons why I like wearing a half helmet is it actually gives you more visibility. When you have this on your head, there's nothing blocking your peripheral. There's nothing blocking the side of your vision or anything like that. So you actually have a wider range of vision. Some people will recommend a half helmet for that reason. My dad wears one specifically for that reason. It doesn't like full face because he feels restricted. Also with the half helmet, if you're claustrophobic, um, that will be a better option for you because being in a full face, it's right there around your neck, you're enclosed in it, and it is a little claustrophobic, so half helmet, you don't have that problem. When I first started wearing a full face, I was a little claustrophobic with it, I was a little uh, insecure because it, it put a lot of pressure around my neck here, and I have a problem if I feel like I can't breathe. Uh, the way I solved that was when I first started riding, there's a vent on the front of this helmet that obviously is blocked by the GoPro. But I didn't have the GoPro on the front there and I wore it with that vent open until I was comfortable to close that vent or to close the, the visor. Because there's two visors. I can wear it with the main visor open and put that other visor down. So I wore it with everything open for a little bit. And the more comfortable I got, the more I closed things. And then the more I got used to everything, the pads got worn down. It fit better. It didn't feel like it was choking me or it didn't feel like my airways were compressed or closed off or things like that. So I got more comfortable with it. I combated that mine thing uh, with it. And now I'm comfortable with wearing full face because I worked on it. The difference, I, I did mention I grew up with dirt bikes. The difference between the dirt bikes and this one is my dirt bike helmets were always looser. The face of it, you know, comes off away from your face. Like they have a lot of space between there on my dirt bike helmets. And then you had goggles and everything was basically open. I mean, it, you had so much room in those helmets and not room as far as like the side of your face and things like that, but room as far as the front goes. And this helmet, it's, it's right there. Um, I didn't want a round helmet. I wouldn't want elongated for that reason. So it gave me a little bit more space. And so that's why I bought the helmet that I had and it fit and I tried it on. I went in store and tried both of these helmets on in store. And that's also a reason that I bought both of them because I like the way they fit there. I liked the way they feel. They felt. The other reason why I like a half helmet is because it gets hot. It gets super hot during the summer and you're dying with a full face on. And it's like, I mean, you have vents on these things. There's one behind the GoPro that I obviously can't open. There's one here on the top and they are, they also have a couple on the sides. So you can open those up, but it's still not going to be anywhere near as cool as a half helmet. And so if you are in a warmer climate and you have heat problems where you're at, a half helmet is beneficial for that reason. The other thing with a half helmet is that since it's smaller, you can fit it in more saddlebags or you can uh, fit it in a backpack or a carry-on bag or something like that. And it's easier to store, it's easier for a backup to take with you or something like that. If you're going to have a passenger, you can store a half helmet in more places than you ever will be a full face. The other thing is too, um, something that most people may not think about is a half helmet is less likely to be stolen. A full helmet 
everybody's like, oh my god, it's huge, it's more expensive, I have add-ons on mine, they're like, let me snatch a half helmet, where I'm at, unless I'm in Charlotte, I generally don't worry about it being taken, but on that same note, if I am worried about it being taken, it's easier to take inside with me, it's easier if I sit down at a restaurant to put it in another seat or on a ledge or in my seat or in my lap or something like that, it's just less space. And so that's uh, an advantage there. They do have half helmets that you have a visor flip down. I don't like the look of it, but when it comes to sunglasses and things like that, they have uh, different options and ways to go around either wearing eye protection or for people who wear prescription glasses and they don't tint, um, they do have the flip down. I didn't get that, it's more expensive. Moving right along to the full helmet. The reason why I prefer this I always prefer a full face over a half helmet and that's just me personally. I grew up riding dirt bikes so I always had full face. I didn't really have an option on dirt bikes. The full face, what I like about this is obviously I do have that pop down visor and so with the pop down visor on this I don't have to wear eye protection or I can wear my glasses. I actually haven't worn my glasses with that helmet so I can't comment on that. However, I do have friends that do wear glasses and have full faces and they can't wear their glasses with the brand full face they have because it's too tight. I don't generally wear glasses on the motorcycle. I think it restricts my peripheral vision. So I don't wear my glasses because I can't see out the sides. But with the full helmet, it, it still comes around far enough on the side where you have most of your field of vision. It does restrict sometimes, but your head is always on a swivel on a motorcycle. And so for me, that's not a major problem. For this one in particular, it does have the open vents. And it does have this kind of vent uh, situation going on the back here. So for this particular helmet, I like that. Um, with a full face for me, riding, I have a chubby little chipmunk face, um, and so with a full face, I feel like I look more manly, and I feel like it kind of makes my chipmunk <laughs> more obvious, and with a half helmet, I can hide that. The other thing with a half helmet is I am more undercover, more uh, covert, and people, uh, if I'm wearing gear, and you can't see, you know, feminine aspects. They don't generally know I'm a female, so I don't get a lot of controversy there. Uh, when I'm riding with other people until I stop and they're like, oh my gosh, that's a girl. Yeah, but you didn't judge me when I was on the bike because you couldn't tell I was a girl. The other thing, obviously I can record, I can listen to music. The music situation with the half helmet, you can stick pods or speakers on your bike. But, you know, everybody's going to be listening to the same music you are. If you don't care about that, you don't care how high up you turn it, it doesn't matter. Um, but you can do that. For me, it was just cheaper just to put a CD unit on there and then I have communication. I can call people. I can have a full-blown conversation on the phone with a business person or an employer or a client and they're not going to know because they can't hear the wind noise and that CD unit works quite well for that. Um, I had a friend who called me and she was going down the road <laughs> And I said, hey, I, I got directions going on in my helmet. Can I call you back? And she goes, in your helmet? What are you talking about? I said, I'm riding the bike. I have directions. Can I call you back? Oh my gosh, I can hear you. And like, I don't hear wind noise or anything like that. And you're so clear. How are you talking on a motorcycle? Well, I got a boom mic in my helmet for the senior. I got directions. Can I call you back? <laughs> uh, so that's actually extremely handy. The other thing that you don't really think about with a full face versus a half helmet is not only interstate riding, but just in general riding roads, bugs and grit and dirt and glass even, things like that. If I'm on a half helmet, those things are hitting my face. They're hitting my full on face and that hurts. That, I mean, that's painful. On a full face, they don't hit that unless it somehow goes up underneath the helmet. I don't get all that dirt and everything, and especially if you're going to be riding interstate. You know, where I'm from, I have 77, they have the toll lanes. Motorcycles, if you didn't know, do ride free on North Carolina 77 uh, from Mooresville um, past wherever the toll lane is, or where it ends past Charlotte. Motorcycles do ride free, and so we will take that toll lane. That toll lane is always full of debris that gets pushed off to the side of the road. 
that most of the cars are going in the normal lane, so both sides of the toll lane have debris everywhere. And so when you're riding down that road and you get something thrown up by somebody else's tires or the bike in front of you, that's painful. You get home and you have little spots or you have blood spots or things like that. And literally, for a safety standpoint, the full face is the better option for that. Because I did ride, I do ride half helmet on the interstate and I did it on um, Thanksgiving Day and it was brutal. And I didn't record because I didn't bring my GoPro with me. But it was terrible. And riding behind another bike, my dad has an electric light in particular, and that bike throws up so much dirt in my face if I ride behind him. I won't ride with a half helmet behind my dad because it's just unbearable. Or just, I mean, behind any bigger bike. I haven't ridden behind a crowd truck with a half helmet, so I couldn't tell you that much. Um, but with a, with a bigger bike, with an electric light or any Harley in front of you, a half helmet is, is just going to get so much stuff in your face. Uh, the other thing on an interstate ride is your head is being, your high speeds, your head is being pushed back. All that wind gets caught, like, right here, and it just pushes your head back, which hurts your neck eventually, and it's highly uncomfortable. And then with the half helmet, it only goes here, so I can't just, like, notch my neck down and ride, because the half helmet doesn't come up. With the full face, it goes all the way down here, and I have a collar on my jacket or even my shoulders. If I get tired of holding my head up, I just pull my shoulders up and just ride with my head resting right there. And it doesn't hurt my neck. It allows me to relax my neck. And so that's also why, woo, that's also why I prefer the full face on the interstate because of the wind difference. It's more aerodynamic. You can notch down behind your handlebars and just ride smoother. And so that's also something to think about. The other thing, makeup. Makeup. <laughs> makeup with a half helmet, short rides, you're not going to have an issue with makeup. Long rides, you're going to have that wind, all that dust and dirt and everything flying past your face. When you get to your destination, your makeup has worn off. <laughs> that's true. I did that over the summer on a two week long bike ride up to Canada. Um, you'd start out the day with concealer and you'd get to the end of the day and you got kind of bare skin showing through because the the layer of makeup that you've put on is now dwindled down to basically nothing. With a full face, you can preserve your makeup. However, what you want to think about is your cheek pads. I do my eyebrows. So if I take my cheek pads off, they go right over my eyebrows right there when I take my helmet off. When that happens, then I have brown marks, dark brown marks on my cheek pads. So when I stick it back on, now I have brown marks on my cheek pads. So, to combat that, what I do is I do my eyebrows and I spray them with hairspray to set them. <laughs> it's hair. I gotta seal that somehow. So, that's what I do. And, uh, actually sealing, it, sealing my eyebrows with hairspray has proven to work. Um, so, I generally will do that with the full face and I don't really have a problem with makeup. But, you know, your pads, my pads on the inside of here, there's no way you guys can see this. I don't know, but my pads on the inside of here are brown from my makeup. So that is something else to think about. You can buy different pads. You can figure out a way to wash your pads and, you know, keep doing that. And when you wear a full face, you do have to clean that visor a lot. You'll have bugs everywhere. The good thing about this visor in particular, and the thing, if you buy a full face, what you want to keep in mind is can you switch out the visor that you actually have on the outside. So this one in particular, um, by the way, you see this little button thing down here? I hate it. <laughs> Get a full face where you don't have to half break it to open. Um, but with these things, you see these little levers here on the side and things like that. You can replace or take off this helmet, just pop it off and things like that. I'm not going to because I can't get it back on. You can do things like that. On a side note, I ride a Harley. So if you ride a Harley, one thing you need to keep in mind about a full face is there are screws that are here and here on this. Right there and right there. That particular screw in my helmet doesn't look like the rest of them. It's because it was loose when I bought the helmet, didn't know that, wore it, and it rattled out. <laughs> 
So, brand of helmet and the add-ons and the features are highly important, but for an overall um, review, I will always prefer a full face because it is more comfortable. In my opinion, it's more safer. You have a little debate on that. Uh, visual and uh, protection. As a biker, you always need to think about the what if and the what could happen. So we get on that motorcycle every day and we assume the risk. We know the risk we're taking. The same thing goes with Agad, all gear all the time, things like that. You know what you're getting yourself into when you get on that bike. You assume that responsibility and you take that risk. And that's on you. Every biker is different. Every biker has a different opinion. Your skill level may not be what kills you. What kills you may be everybody else around you. You can be the best biker in the world. And you might still find yourself in a situation that you cannot control. So it's important to think about that. I'm not going to harp on all gear all the time. I'm not one of those people. I wear tank tops and t-shirts on my bike. I'll never wear shorts because I don't want to get burned and I have that knock on wood bad look that I would. Uh, I generally don't wear converses on a motorcycle. I generally wear over the ankle stuff because I rolled my ankle. Um, and I'm just I'm accident prone. So <laughs> knocking on wood over here. Invisible wood. Um, but I am accident prone, so I keep that in mind when choosing what I'm going to wear on a bike and um, which route I'm going to take that day. And I don't have a problem with wearing a half helmet. I don't have a problem wearing a full face. I wear both. So I like both of them for different reasons, but ultimately at the end of the day, I will always choose the full face. Thanks for watching, guys. If you have any more pros and cons of full faces versus half helmets you want to leave down below, let me know what you think. Let me know your pros and cons, and let me know why you prefer either or because there could be different experiences that I don't experience and things that you may offer help to other people. So if you have any of those comments, I'm interested in what other people say and why other people want to wear either or. So thanks for watching the video guys. If you want to see more female moto vlog issues or things that I, I run into or come into contact with or things that I experience, um, follow the channel. And if you want to see more moto vlogs, the crazy drivers that we have in Charlotte here or in Mooresville, I might even travel over to Salisbury and Statesville and pretty much all around North Carolina mostly. I do take trips um, longer and out of state occasionally and things like that. So join the channel and follow my adventures. One thing to remember, life is just the adventure and it's all about the people.